my name is Luba Rafi, and I am a senior staff attorney at Sanctuary for Families uh, Center for Better Family Legal Services. I work in our Manhattan Family Justice Center location, and I um, specifically deal with family law issues. So I work with victims of domestic violence um, on their order of protection cases, on their custody and visitation cases, on their child support cases, spousal support cases, and I sort of dabble a little bit in matrimonial cases. My first few months here was, there were definitely a lot of revelations. So one of the things that I thought was very interesting is how cross-cultural domestic violence actually is and how it really cuts across all uh, socioeconomic um, distributions. Um, having started in the Bronx and then transferred to Manhattan, um, I got to see the wide array of different people affected by it. Um, I have had numerous people come into my office for um, a screening. So we do legal screenings here at the Manhattan Family Justice Center. And sometimes we just have people walk in um, who sit down uh, on the other side of me and who say, um, I never thought this would happen to me. I have an education. I have a great family. Uh, I work at X, Y, and Z. Um, I did not think that this happened to people, quote unquote, like me. And what I very often tell them is that there's no such thing as people who this happens to because this literally can happen to anyone because the cycle of power and control can really happen within any population, whether it's somebody who is an immigrant, somebody who is indigent, or somebody who is very wealthy and educated and native to this country. Um, and that was uh, something that I found to be um, somewhat of a shocker when I started working here and something that I always make sure to tell my clients um, when they come in with this feeling of, you know, how could this possibly happen to me? At the end of the day, these women and sometimes men do care and love for their partner. So you become sort of entrenched in this very sick uh, cycle where the person you love the most is also the person who's hurting you. So it's not a random robber on the street or, you know, somebody who is working with you or anything like that. It's, it's in your home. Um, so very often, first of all, there's an incentive to reconcile for the children. There are financial considerations. Um, there are family pressures. A lot of our victims who are from the immigrant um, communities, there is a lot of pressure not to leave, not to disclose, not to talk about what's going on within the home. So that's why they don't. They stay put. Um, as far as different forms that domestic violence can take, uh, one of the forms, again, that we deal with a lot is the abuse of the legal system against our clients. A lot of our clients, they will file for an order of protection or an order of custody, and then will call us two, three weeks later and say, I was just arrested, um, because then the abuser does the exact same thing. And then basically you have this he said, she said situation. Um, the nice thing about Sanctuary is that we do pick our clients. We So in our screenings, when we talk to the clients, th these are people that we genuinely believe. These are people that we, even though the abuser might come back with um, their own family offense petition or their own custody case, we believe our client's story. So we advocate on their behalf. 